Now then, gents, as whiskey experiences go, this is quite a treat. Not only are we on Isla, we're in the warehouse with Lafroig Distillery Manager Barry. Thank you very much for having us. And we've got quite a treat, actually, on the table. Real... Going back in time. Yeah, so this is a cast strength Lafroig. Um, Barry said this was the original cast strength Lafroig from just after the kind of 2006, give or take. Yes. Yeah. So it'll be a 90s distillation, yes. 10 years yeah. old, natural cast strength. It's before uh, we started to identify which batch. Yeah. Sure. Before the batch one, now yeah. we're up to where we are now. Uh, so something you don't see very often, right? It's, it's no, no, you have to no. dig quite fancy that yeah. dive for yeah. this one now. It's just sort of options these days. Yeah. Yeah. People have held on to it and it's now trading for like high hundreds or something. And anything Lafroy, yeah. anything yeah. You know, obviously in perfect condition like this is going to. A hundred percent. I think it's true. something we see a lot of on the app. We see a lot of people mm. putting these these um, old school bottles up. Cash strength bottlings as well. If you think even twenty years ago, ish, wasn't all that trendy. Mm. We see loads of batch strength, cash strength, calculated strength, like annual releases from people nowadays. But this would have been quite early in mm. really kicking off those kind of annual release series. So fifty five point seven percent. Natural colour, non-chill filter, all the good stuff you want to hear. <laughs> it, is, it's, it just puts you at ease. You're like, okay, I'm getting the authentic product. It's, mm. it's being presented how I imagine the distillery manager would like it presented. Mm. You know? Yes. It's, that's exactly. Un untouched. As it says on the label, a natural distillery strength straight from the wood. Yeah. So nice. it's, yeah. That's you want. it's the way you want to kind of show up. So do you think this range is this sort of for the Afroig purists who, you know, love the 10-year-old but just want it turned up to 11. 12. 12, <laughs> yeah, turned up to 55.7. Yeah. And also for people that may not know much about Lafroig, how would you describe Lafroig's character? Mm. This is the thing, we might get a lot of people that are viewing this. We've done a few videos before, but Lafroig, it's something you see everywhere. But what is the character of Lafroig? Oh. That's a hard, big question, isn't it? How do you sum up Lafroig? I think everyone has to try it. Mm. Yeah. Any whiskey fan, right. whether it's Irish whiskey, myth, whiskey bourbon, Quite yeah. but we're going national. You have to try it. Uh, it is very much the love or hate yeah. in the whiskey world. Uh, and for those that love it, they love it. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. it just is to exactly what you said, Laurie, the, the purist that loves the 10. Yeah. We are the kind of biggest fans of the 10 cast strength. Yeah. Mm. We look forward to each year, the next one yeah. coming out. It's so one of the whiskeys I think you, you hear a lot of people remembering the first time they tried it. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it's a real kind of benchmark. Whiskey. Like yeah. If, you, if somebody says, "Oh, you into whiskey?" Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Almost. You know, the follow-up <laughs> yeah. question is, "What about Lafroy?" <laughs> yeah. And that's kind of like yeah. to you know gauge where you're at on yeah. your sort of whiskey journey. Uh, what, uh, what you're you're, you're like. born and bred on Isla, and you've been manager of the distillery. You've been in the distillery for thirteen years. Do you remember the first time you had Lafroy? That's a bit of an odd question. I do. Uh, and I was in Chile in Valparaiso. Of oh, course. So you're a okay. So you're from Isla, but you yeah. tried it in Chile. Yeah, believe it or not, uh, we weren't brought up on it. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I was I joined the Merchant Navy and I was trying to explain to my colleagues where Isla was. Okay. Mm -hmm. And one of the first bars we hit work in the uh, port of Valparaiso. There was a Lafroy to right in the middle of the garden. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. home. Yeah. 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 Finally, I could share it with six people. Five of them hated it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One of them loved it. Uh, yeah. But that is what Lafroy is all about. It's yeah. memorable, isn't it? And it, yeah. it's distinctive. It's very, very heavily peated. Mm. People talk about being medicinal, TCP, iodine, and these are all positive aspects mm. to Lafroy lovers and why they love it. So let's, let's crack it open. It's a, what a pleasure to try it as well. I know. I'm very sought after. You know, Going back yeah. you know, 20 years, it was bottled. There can't be a huge amount of these left. So, so yeah, of, thank you so much, Barry. It was like 10 yeah. years old, maybe. Uh, oh, generosity. and we do you know what? We've had this happen on the channel before. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to take an artistic cut and we're going to get this bottle open. So what we've done is, we'll, what Wallory and I have done with so many of our videos, opening up these old bottles, we're definitely getting the authentic product mm. because the integrity of the cork has told us that. <laughs> um, <laughs> We've opened very of the stuff from the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, and we are now masters at pushing the cork into the bottle and filtering it afterwards. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I'm sorry we've left you with that. <laughs> you know, yeah. Do you know what yeah. we need? We need to try it. Right, what an effort. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, this is why you should always keep your own corks in case this happens. Just pop a, <laughs> pop a new one straight in. Oh, I do. It's, it's so different. It's, it's coastal. 
It's there's a fresh, yeah, that, really that maritime fresh character. I don't know what salt smells like. Yeah, but mm. I, I'm, I, I feel so, like there's something there that's so maritime. It really is. It's briny. Mm. This is, and we talk about moments and people you're with, this is something you want to drink on a beach. It is so fresh Aye. and briny and coastal, and, but they also they have that underlying peak smoke as well. Mm. It's like a nice sense to it. And mm. I'd say there's not a lot of evident high proof on the nose either. It no. doesn't come across as too high in alcohol. Um, yeah, I'd say those sort of harsh TCP ID notes that some people find mm. like kind of offensive. It's not a huge amount of the nose for me. No. Through. This is quite exciting. Mm. As, as a non-traditional Laphroaig lover, this mm. is something I'm like, okay, this is almost teasing me because I want to try it and I know mm. that the palate is going to go, I, yes, I am Laphroaig. <laughs> Let's have a little go. Wow. Mm. Well, what a finish kind of comes comes in waves for me. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, that's quite a pleasant, oh, that's a beautiful finish. Yeah. Um, goes down so easily. Classic Lefroy character for you? Yeah, I think so. For me, it's almost, bizarrely, it almost goes down easier than the 10, despite being a much higher proof. It's just it loads should... complexity, but it's not out of control. It's not wild. It's it is very easy drinking. Drink it. mm. um, it's one of those things, I think, that the Freud big TCP ID and peat smoke isn't at the front of the palate. I think there is that, there's still a coastal element on the, on the front of the palate. What do you think, Barry? The first time you've had this in a, in a while, I would, I would assume. It is. Uh, using tastings in the past, you know, special mm -hmm. tastings, but uh, yeah. it's the first time I've tried it for years. Yeah. And this, for me, it's all about the finish in this oh, one. Mm -hmm. It's still going, yeah. and it's still evolving, it's not just yeah, yeah. sitting there, it's there's something, to, you know, there's yeah. the moment to say it's almost like a zesty freshness. Mm, yeah. uh, it's the season's had it. <laughs> yeah, it's like spring. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it is, it's so fresh and light and bright, which is not something people associate with heavily peated whiskey a lot of the time. No, and that, that's one thing about before. People just, ought, as a lot of people, automatically assume it's going to be a bit heavily bodied, yeah. mm. heavily peated. It's actually light bodied. Yeah. Uh, due to the line arms and thing. Yeah, yeah. And, and so for the people that um, kind of aren't aware and maybe haven't been to distilleries before, you know, if you have a taller stills and longer line arms and the angle, more copper contact's going to give you a lighter spirit. Yeah. Mm. And so it really is more about the cask influence when it comes to the richness and the boldness of a whiskey. So this is not that cask orientated, it's what I would say, mm. kind of really highlights the Lafroy character rather than something that's been dominated by a sherry cask, for example. Yeah, for me, the quality of the spirit's always been good. So obviously it's won awards for years and years, and um, we've also received a royal award as well. Yeah. In, yeah. in 1994, I think. Yeah. yeah. Then Prince Charles, mm. in, sorry, for years he's always said it's his, his favourite whiskey, mm. favourite malt. Um, so the king's favourite whiskey? Yeah. Do you know the, so the story of the royal award? How does that work in reality about it? Yeah. What's it's like? It's nice to tell everyone it's because yeah. it's his favourite. Mm -hmm. yeah. Unfortunately, he's not allowed to just dish out well, who warns, yeah, yeah. based on what his favourite is. Yeah. Uh, so, one of the reasons uh, the Freud was given, it was one of the, it was the first in the industry to gain an ISO accreditation. Okay. So, it was shown good practice and sustainability, okay. maximizing mm -hmm. energy efficiencies. Okay. And because of that, uh, they got recognised. It was a recognition, one, yeah. you know. Time to do more in your community, yeah. to be more sustainable. Mm -hmm. So, the Freud was working on that in 1984. You know, I know it's a much more fun of. Yeah, it's much more in trend just now. People yeah. are talking and investing in it now. But yeah, but that's it. You've been doing it for so long. Yeah. Let's uh, say, it's now just as of yesterday, moved into the King's Water. Mm -hmm. So, here we are, 2024. Yeah. But is it just 20? Yeah, yeah. It's 30, 30, 30, years, <laughs> 30 years after. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's going to move to the King's Water. So, a lot of new labels are going to get printed off for Laphroaig. Yeah, well, 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 <laughs> but but it's worth looking at because there'll be people that have bottles of Laphroaig in their house right now and maybe haven't noticed it. Mm -hmm. So, have a little look just above the Laphroaig and you'll see the, the Royal Water there. Yeah. So, it's also a good way of, um, for those that sort of collect older bottlings, it's a nice way of sort of dating. Yeah, for as well. So if you see one that's sort of early mid nineties, if it doesn't have a royal award, you know it's nineteen ninety three, right? Yeah, for so yeah, it's so. yeah, useful in that very niche. Absolutely. Scenario <laughs> but, but a real it's really it's that. really taking me by surprise. Um, to be honest, the dram it's so much lighter and brighter than I've associated with any heavily peated whiskey. Mm. So an absolute pleasure to share it with you, gentlemen. And thanks for letting us in your warehouse, Barry. We appreciate yeah. it. It's not a bad place. It's the best yeah, place to drink whiskey. Cheers. Cool. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, guys.
If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Bevy content. We want to hear what you think, your best whiskey experiences, the whiskies you want us to try. It's a really exciting journey we're on, so make sure to join us. Download the Bevy app on Google Play and App Store to keep track of your whiskey journey, connect with your whiskey friends, keep track of your favourites, anything you could ever want to do with whiskey, all in one place. It's the definitive whiskey companion.